Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my upcoming program on All Weather Portfolio Masterclass, uh, which is a new way of showing students how robo advisors work. Uh, when I was a trainer in with Dr. Wealth, I've always received a lot of questions on, first of all, what do I think about uh, the latest robo advisor offerings from financial institutions? Right? And I've not really come up with a very substantive way of answering that question until recently because I don't have enough data about the behavior of the various market participants. But over the years, I realized that there really is a lot that uh, intermediate investor would have to uh, investigate into some of these industrial practices. I think the first is that when you use the term robo-advisor, is it really passive and is it really controlled by a computer algorithm? Now, there have been reported rumors and instances where a particular person who is in charge of these funds uh, would interfere directly with the running of these investments by making some manual choices of investing and has led to a negative outcome for the investor. All right? So with that in mind, there are also many interesting things that happened in the year 2022 when the Federal Reserve began to raise interest rates, we found that uh, even very conservative portfolios consisting of 60% equities and 40% bonds have managed to lose over a double digit percentage amount for the investor, right? Which sort of begs the question, what kind of value does the industry and the financial advice gives uh, for the many working people in Singapore, right? Who work hard, who save very aggressively only to put themselves in a portfolio where they might underperform in a year or two. And, and what does the industry have to offer? They, have, they can offer you kind words. They can hold your hand. I've designed a program called the All Weather Portfolio to basically arm the everyday Singapore investor with tools that can approximate the same power of a robot advisor. Right? The course will run through many, many different strategies on how to build various portfolios that exploit a different human weakness. And if you were to learn how these strategies work and how to operate the computer software that actually covers these major strategies, you can learn a little bit about how robo-advisors work. And hopefully that would arm you with the ability to ask very important questions right, about the industry. All right. Now, today I'm going to talk a little bit about one of the strategies that I cover in my program called Mean Reversion Strategies. And this is a strategy where we look at markets that are rising on the whole. And when markets are rising on the whole, there is a long-term rising trend. There would still be stocks that underperform over the short term. So over the short term, you might have one or two counters that have been oversold. And what we do is we have a computer program written in Python that would be able to filter these stocks that are currently underperforming and we would group them, right? We would group them into a set of stocks that can be added into an equity portfolio. And once you buy these stocks, right? Uh, these stocks, the hope is that over time, mean reversion uh, would actually allow you to make extraordinary profit because these stocks cannot be oversold for very long. They will eventually rebound, right? Now, the main benefit of using a mean reversion strategy is that from a risk adjusted basis, they are far superior to an exchange traded fund that consists of US companies, the Standards and Poor 500, where the Standards and Poor 500 will give you a return of about 0.5 to 0.6 units for every unit of risk that you take, right? 0.5 to 0.6 units of returns for every unit of risk that you take a well-designed computer algorithm can provide a return of up to maybe 1.3 to 1.5 returns per unit of risk that you take. So this makes it a very, very powerful strategy for beginners because you actually earn more money when times are good and you actually lose less money when times are bad. All right, I'm now going to start the demonstration for the mean reversion chapter for my training program and you will realize that it's actually very easy to do for computer layman and no knowledge on programming is required. The first thing you have to do is that you would have to customize the variables for the back test. And I've already done this for you, okay? In the teaching program, I will teach you how to, for example, set the dates for the back test. 
what is the upper bound and the lower bound uh, for your limit losses and your stop losses in the program and that will be covered in greater detail but for now all the variables have been set we can load them into the software and you can click run over here okay the next thing you do is that you just scroll down into the next cell and you can then click play again okay and what it will do is that it will tell you what stocks you can buy if you were to run the program today so clearly uh, from the table that I show here, these are the 10 stocks that you should add into your portfolio if you are trying to build a mean reversion software today. All right, so all you have to do is just refer to what the program says. Okay, and next we're going to start running the back test. It's basically, it will go through one month of <clears throat> market data from December 2022 to uh, January 2023, and it will then um, perform the buys and sells accordingly. The program will take about a minute to run. Okay, the, the program has completed the running. And what the program will do is that they will tell you how many trades you've made over that period of time, how many of the trades are profitable. And as you can see, the returns are much better than the index during that same period of time. It will also provide a graph for the results. What can we conclude from this short exercise is that, well, the program and the algorithm is able to actually minimize your losses when times are bad, right? In this example, the annualized return for that one month is negative 5.8, when the rest of the index has lost about 40% of its value, right? So it's able to actually protect your wealth when times are bad, right? And uh, yeah, and, and basically that's about it, right? If you understand how to click play uh, on the Jupyter Notebook and the code that I've run, you would be able to have a robo-advisor that is sort of owned by you and you can get into the internal workings as you study uh, how this mean reversion works in the future. So in summary, mean reversion is the kind of strategy that is one of four strategies that I will cover in the program. Over the past 10 years, it has given double-digit returns that is far superior to what the index is able to generate, all right? And understanding it just means that you would need to obtain a program as part of my course and run it uh, over a service like Google Colab. Uh, that's all I have for you. Thank you very much.